Hello and welcome. This is my 3D printer. It's an Anycubic i3 Mega. It has a print bed size of 210 by 210 with a height of 205 millimeters. It prints both PLA and ABS. The heated print bed here should reach a maximum temperature of 110 degrees. And for PLA, it's usually around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. Now, unfortunately, this print bed now is only reaching a temperature of around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius. So there's obviously a problem. In this video, what I'm attempting to do is to diagnose the problem and go through step by step how to repair the fault. So hopefully you'll stay with me and we'll go through this step by step. Before we start, ensure that the 3D printer is disconnected from the mains power supply. Then remove the six Allen screws with the Allen key provided with your 3D printer. Remove the two lower feet with the larger Allen key. Slide the cover through the centre brace and place it to one side. Here you see the complete inner workings of the 3D printer, the power supply and the control board. Now in order to conduct our um, diagnostics, we will need to reconnect the 3D printer to the mains power supply. Please be careful when doing so as the expose, there are exposed contacts within the 3D printer where you will have a 230 volt voltage supply. If you do not feel confident enough to do this, then I would recommend not doing it. Once you have plugged the uh, 230 volt supply back in, We need to test the output of our power supply unit. For this I am using a multimeter or voltage tester. I have set the multimeter to a range of 20 volts DC. Now with your multimeter set to 20 volts DC, Touch the probes on the output positive and negative terminals on the power supply. You should have 12 volts or above. Start the printer's preheat procedure. As you can see from the video, the extruder temperature is rising, but the heated bed does not. It remains around 22 to 24 degrees Celsius. This is the control board. Place the multimeter probes on the positive and negative terminals of the extruder input. Here you can see we have 12 volts or above. 
And now do the same test on the heated bed terminals. Here we see only 0.01 to 0.02 volts. As you can see from the previous footage, with uh, power on, the preheat selected, there's 12 volt present at the power supply and the contacts on the control board to the extruder. However, there's only like 1 to 2 volts at the heat bed contacts. I believe the fault is in the small inbuilt MOSFETs there, um, which is a common problem with uh, most units because they have to handle high voltage and they produce a lot of heat for long periods of time. My solution to this is this. This is an external MOSFET which um, I've included a link in the description below. It's fairly cheap. It has a much larger MOSFET fitted and it also has a heat sink which gives it the ability to dissipate the heat far more efficiently. What I'm going to do now is take you through step by step how to install this new piece of circuit. 